What to Know About the Herpes Simplex Virus by Tanya Hernandez and Cynthia, Cynthia Paniagua. What is the herpes simplex virus? Herpes simplex virus, most commonly known as herpes, are categorized in two types. Herpes type 1, HSV1, or oral herpes. And herpes type 2, HSV-2, or genital herpes. If you're ever if you've ever had a cold sore or fever blister, you pick up the herpes simplex virus. Herpes type 1 most commonly causes sores around the mouth and HSV-1 can cause genital herpes, but most cases of genital herpes are caused by herpes type 2. In HSV-2, the infected person may have sores around the genital or rectum. Although HSV-2 sores may occur in other locations, these sores usually are found below the waist. What causes herpes? Herpes simplex 1, which is transmitted through oral secretion or sores on the skin, may be spread through kissing and sharing objects such as toothbrushes or eating utensils. Herpes type 2 infection can be spread during sexual contact with someone who has a genital HSV-2 infection. It is important to know that both HSV-1 and HSV-2 can be spread even if sores are not present. Pregnant women with genital herpes should talk to their doctors as genital herpes can be passed on to the baby during childbirth. Mothers can give the herpes virus to their babies during childbirth if the baby is born during the mother's first episode of genital herpes. The baby can have serious problems. For many people with herpes virus, which can go through periods of being dormant, attack, attacks or outbreaks can be brought on by the following conditions. Genital or ge general illness from mild illness to serious conditions. Fatigue, physical and emotional stress. Immunosuppressants due to AIDS or such medication as chemotherapy or steroids. Trauma to the affected area including sexual activity. Menstruation, fever, sun exposure, and surgery. What are the symptoms of herpes? Symptoms of HSV typically appear as a blister or multiple blisters on or around the affected area, usually the mouth, genital, and rectum. Some people experience very mild genital herpes symptoms or no symptoms at all. Frequently, people infected with the virus don't even know that they have it. Outbreaks are described described as achy or pains in or around the genital area or burning pain or difficulty urinating. Some people experience discharge from the vagina or penis. This slide has more um, symptoms of herpes. Um, Flu-like symptoms, fever, muscle aches, swollen lymph nodes, glands in the neck, oral herpes are growing, genital herpes, are possible. Um, problem urinating. People, most often women with genital herpes, may have trouble urinating or have a burning feeling while urination. An eye infection. Sometimes the herpes simplex virus can spread to one or both eyes. If this happens, you have pain, light sensitivity, discharge, and gritty feeling in the eye. Without prompt treatment, scarring of the eye may result. Scarring can lead to cloudy vision and even loss of vision. Who can get the herpes simplex virus? Most people get herpes simplex type 1 as an infection or child. The, this virus can be spread from skin to skin contact with an adult who carries the virus. An adult does not have to have sores to spread the virus. Personally, usually, usually gets herpes simplex type 2 through sexual contact about 20% of sexually active adults in the United States carry herpes simplex 2. 
A person with HSV-1 can pass it to someone else by kissing, touching the person's skin, such as pinching the cheeks of a child, sharing objects such as silverware, lip balm, or a razor. Some people are most likely to get HSV-2. These people are females, have had many sexual partners, had sex for the first time at a young age, had or had another sexual transmitted infection, have a weakened immune system due to a disease or medication. Herpes simplex virus spread from person to person through close contact. You can get a herpes simplex virus from, t from touching a herpes sore. Most people, however, get herpes simplex from an infected person who does not have any sores. Once the person becomes infected with herpes virus, the virus never leaves the body. After the first outbreak, the virus moves from the skin cells to nerve cells. The virus stays in the nerve cells forever, but it is usually just but it usually just stays there in this stage. The virus is said to be dormant or asleep, but it can become active again. Prevention, <clears throat> prevention for herpes is fairly simple. To avoid getting herpes, you should always follow safe sexual practices. Limit your number of sexual partners. Always use condoms unless you are in a monogamous relationship with an uninfected person. People with genital herpes should abstain from sexual activity when they have symptoms. They also should tell the sex partners about their herpes infe infection and use condoms during sexual activity. Even without symptoms, a person can spread the herpes virus and infect others. People with active genital herpes sores are more likely to become infected with HIV if they are exposed through sexual intercourse. Pregnant women, women who have visual ulcers from genital herpes at the time of delivery, usually are encouraged to have a cesarean. This is to prevent um, a herpes simplex virus from, from spreading to the newborn. Because of the decision to have a cesarean is based on so many different factors, a pregnant woman with a herpes simplex virus infection should discuss this subject with her physician as early as possible in her pregnancy. Women with their first outbreak at the time of delivery have the highest risk of transmitting the virus to the baby. However, this will not guarantee that you will not contract genital herpes even if you use these precautions. The best protection you can use is abstinence. How is herpes simplex virus 1 and 2 diagnosed? Genital herpes can be diagnosed by visual, visual examination or through a blood test that will be sent to a lab. Physicians will send blood work to the lab just to make sure or confirm the diagnosis. Viral culture. This test involves taking a tissue sample or scraping of the sore for an examination in the laboratory. Blood test. This test analyzes a sample of your blood for the process for the presence of HSV antibodies to detect a past herpes infection. What is the treatment for genital herpes? There is no cure for genital herpes. The treatment with prescription antiviral medication may help sores heal sooner during the initial outbreak, lessen the severity or duration of the symptoms in reoccurrent outbreaks, reduce the frequency of reoccurrence, um, it minimizes the chance of transmitting the herpes virus to another. Here are three antiviral medications used for genital herpes um, to treat genital herpes. Your doctor may recommend that you take the medication only when you have symptoms of an outbreak or that you take a certain medication daily even when you have no signs of an outbreak. This virus is not curable, however, with a healthy diet and medication, you will live a long, healthy, productive life. Although there is no cure for genital herpes, the frequency and severity 
of reoccurrences often decreases with time. Daily oral antiviral medication also can decrease the number of severity of recurrences. This is the end of our movie. Um, always remember to be safe and remember to get tested. Thanks.